Today on The Daily Dose, the life of zebras. Members of the equus genus, along with horses and donkeys, the only living members of the family equity, zebras are known for their unique patterns of stripes, which have evolved as camouflage against colorblind predators, while additional research suggests that biting flies dislike the stripes of zebras which may explain why other large animals of eastern and southern Africa appear to be entirely overrun by flies. While their shiny coats help to reflect upwards of 70% of the continent's intense solar radiation, found in a variety of habitats, including savannas, woodlands, shrublands, and grasslands, zebras comprise three living species, including gravies, plains, and mountain zebras subsisting on lower quality vegetation that other grazing animals can't tolerate. A zebra's near constant ingestion of tough plant matter takes a heavy toll on their teeth, at the same time possessing a unique twist in their evolution that allows their teeth to continue to grow over the full course of their lifespan. Zebras also see in color and have an acute sense of smell, particularly to smoke while they communicate with each other through facial expressions, posture, and the use of their ears and tails, along with one of the most unique animal calls in all of Africa. Known to herd with other species of grazing animals, such as antelope and wildebeest, zoologists have conjectured that their interspecies grazing habit lends all communal grazers an added layer of protection against carnivorous predators. Known for their complex and well-defined social behavior, plains and mountain zebras form harems of one dominant male and up to six females, while male gravy zebras establish territories which attract promiscuous females in estrus. Within the two harem species, younger males without harems form bachelor herds where they fight one another for females, even stealing females from others or forcing mares impregnated by others to miscarry. A cruel behavior that ensures that only the strongest genes survive to perpetuate the species. Once a dominant male has established a harem, he allows the dominant female to lead the herd according to rank in female zebra's own hierarchy of dominance, while the male walks last in search of predatory attacks from the herd's rear flank, making zebras a colorful native to the wilds of Africa. And there you have it, the life of zebras. Today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague, particularly the dumb ones that don't know Jack.